It's still fairly early in the morning in Vienna. But the Austrian chancellor fronts the media alongside his ministers from the far-right coalition to give news of a crackdown. We want to announce today a decision by the culture ministry to ban seven mosques. It means the dissolution of the mosque of the Grey Wolves and the dissolution of the Arabic cultural community, which runs a total of six mosques. Further, there will be an expulsion of several imams on the ground of violations against the law on foreign financing. The Turkish Islamic Association, or ATIP, represents 40 Turkish imams working in mosques all around Austria. It says the decision doesn't hold up. Our religious officials did not begin their work in Austria just yesterday. They have been working in Austria for 30 or 40 years. We did all our previous works in coordination with the ministry and other officials. The announcement has also drawn reactions from Austria's Muslim community. They accuse the government of being insensitive, given the timing. These actions also such decisions should be made with more sensibility because the Muslims notice that immediately. It's our holy day and now the government closes our mosques regardless of whether the government is right or wrong. That I will not discuss, but the timing is problematic. Europe's largest Turkish community is just across the border in Germany. We met the chairman of the Islamic Council of Germany at Berlin's Mevlana Mosque. The mosque is still under restoration following an arson attack in 2014. Burhan Keskin says since then things have gotten even worse and Germany is no longer the country it once was. The interesting point is that we now hear from leftist parties the things we used to hear from the right wing. We're coming under more attacks. There were around a thousand attacks on Muslims in 2017 alone, and it's a trend that continues in 2018. And it's not just buildings that have come under attack. Women with headscarves or people with foreign appearances have become targets of harassment and physical abuse. In 2012, Burak Bektaş, a young German of Turkish descent, was shot dead while waiting for a bus. The unsolved murder is classified as a hate crime and there is now a monument standing meters away from the crime scene. Human rights activist Ilker Duyar works closely with the German authorities to prevent similar incidents. But he says even he doesn't feel safe. Aside from the death of Burak Bektash, whose monument we are standing in front of, we're talking about 158 deaths. The investigation is still ongoing. With the rise of far-right, increasing xenophobia and Islamophobia, Turks from Austria to Germany say they are fast losing faith in European politicians. Many of them will now vote in Turkey's June presidential elections. And their choice may lie with who they believe will better defend their rights in Europe. Jana Sasu, Straight Talk, Berlin.